I think the idea is we get to see what's actually in here. Man, I should have put my glove on, you know, because I not gonna hear the end of this video when we try and shoot it. This is so heavy and it's gotta be projected just like the gun range. So like everything is angled towards the rubber. You guys gotta come see this. We are just finishing up loading up five defensive rounds in here of hop ammunition locally provided here in Cleveland, Ohio. And we sell it here in Parma, Ohio, but also five rounds of poly so this is just range ammo. And what the exciting part is, after I get through all of what we're gonna talk about here, is that we're gonna shoot this at bulletproof drywall. Check it out, you, you just, just wait. Wait till the end here. It won't take very long, so um, definitely leave us a comment, subscribe, like, and do all those other fun things too, because this is how we come up with these videos. People ask us different things. Okay, we're gonna get some eyes and ears and let's go down range. Come on down this way, let's go. Um, so what we're going to briefly talk about too before we get down there is the insulation. So what you don't know is that in previous videos we talked about insulation and how I have hundreds of panels of it and what you see right here is actually we dampened the entire ceiling of noise and our archery range that's above it with this noise canceling foam. So this is an example of it down here but as we go down here you'll see it's everywhere. Every inch of the ceiling we could potentially do and behind those baffles are all covered. It comes all the way down here. This is the stuff that usually drops uh, 20 to 30 decibels, which makes a gunshot go down quieter than a lawnmower. So if that gives you a good perspective of what this stuff can do for you, a gunshot can go anywhere from 100 to 120 decibels on average. And then we're hoping this and every inch of this covered brings it down below 80 decibels, which is about an average lawnmower. Um, so between the maintenance, remember this was 35,000 pounds of rubber and approximately 10,000 pounds of lead that were mixed in here. So we took out 45,000 pounds of weight, cleaned and took out all that debris. And now we have a fresh set of rubber here and most of the debris out. Again, we're filming this video a week after we cleaned. So you can already see their shotgun wads, a little bit of paper, a little bit of target stuff. Um, so there's some stuff in here, but the exciting part and what we're going to get to here in a minute is actually bulletproof drywall. This is what it is. This sheet alone, you know, your typical piece of drywall is probably under 50 pounds. And I think this sheet, oh my God, I can't even, I could barely lift it. I bet you this sheet weighs over 200 pounds. So give you an idea. Did we get a shovel? Can, can you bring that down here? We're going to need that because we're going to really talk about how this steel wall is awfully similar to this. And then we're going to shoot this as well. So this whole section right here is the interior wall of the hallways inside of the hallway that leads you to the gun store. It's not the gun store, but it leads you down to the gun store. So this is what protects the whole hallway from people you know, getting hit by perhaps a ricochet or, you know, anything. So anyway, here's our shovel we're going to definitely use because I want to dig into this a little bit and see what it looks like even after you clean it and a week into that. So um, let's definitely, you know, a good video is never done until you get some shoveling in. So we're going to get through this. Um, let's give this a shovel. How about, how about right here? I think the idea is we get to see what's actually in here. And look at this, even after a quick little clean, still a lot of shotgun wads. You have the shells. Um, you have some remnants of a little bit of metal, but you have a lot of things like this, like the jackets. Man, I should have put my glove on, you know, because I'm not going to hear the end of this video. But it's a lot cleaner, so that's why we're doing it. Um, give you an idea, to. I just want you to really see under here. So I was really trying to find... I was trying to find how it goes into the rubber a little bit better. Um, there are just so many jackets. Oh, you can actually see, check this out, a bullet squished in there. How cool is that? I know usually in the matter of no time, we could also look at a wall right here and you can actually find there'll be a bullet in the wall. And this is the fun part. Like as we clean up and take stuff out of the wall, oh, there, there's, there it is. 
you get to see the bullet like actually came into the wall and stuck. This is rubber ballistic tile. This is the stuff that stops those bullets on top of everything right here. So you have this, which is the steel plate. Then you have this, which is basically kind of like a steel wall because they say this is bulletproof. So we're going to try and figure out how we're going to shoot this today. So that was the idea. Um, we gave you an idea of what this is. Oh, look at this. You can see actually all the pieces in here too. Look at all that. So that's basically some of the things the cleaner can't always get, but look at that. It's clean. So you see a full bullet in the trap. That's what I'm talking about. It's clean enough where the, the bullets go in there and do not touch each other. And then you get a comparison to a full lead projectile, um, copper jacket, crunched lead piece, you know, you get all of that mix in there. So, wow, that's really cool to see. So anyway, we've, uh, recapped about the insulation, the drywall. And what I'd like to do is see what it may do when we try and shoot it. This is so heavy that I may need a hand. Well, my thought was lean it against the wall and it's gotta be projected just like the gun range. So like everything is angled towards the rubber. So my thought is, let's see what it does. We're gonna shoot that angled and bring it over here. I got our eyes and ears on. Everybody in the building here has them on, or I should say the range. And what we're gonna do, quickly, we're, t we're just talking about, you know what? Yeah, we have a magazine. Remember what we talked about, the five rounds of poly, the five rounds of defensive. And what we're gonna do, see what happens basically. So, you know what, uh, one thing, yeah, actually we're projected at pretty good enough speed, so, or good enough angle. So the suppressor, Obsidian 9 rugged, TP9 elite, nine millimeter, the hop ammunition, Let's give it a try. Are you guys ready? We are ready. Let's stand over this way as close as we can. I'm actually going to shoot at this angle. You said you're ready? Ready. I'm actually going to do one round into the rubber so you can see it actually hit the rubber. Then we're going to do one shot into the drywall and see what happens. Ready? Wow, that was quiet. Actually, super quiet. So that's really cool. All right, here we go. We are testing the bulletproof drywall. Let's see what it does. We're going to shoot one round and then we're going to quickly walk down there. So stand by. Let's go take a look real quick. Come on down this way. Smell it. Wow. You could see it barely scuffed it. I'd say it's bulletproof. It did not send the bullet through, through that. Wow. Okay. We got a couple more rounds in here. Let's try a couple more of the poly ammo created right here in Cleveland, Ohio, hop ammunition. Then we're going to try a couple rounds of defensive. So that was two. Let's shoot the other three rounds at the drywall. Check it out real quick. Ready? Wow. I think my accuracy is something to talk about. Not only how good this looks in here, but I almost hit the same spot. Oh my God. Wait, actually the fibers are starting to tear up, but that's five rounds. Imagine if that was in your house, you have five rounds of somebody shooting potentially at somewhere towards you, but protected to take cover. So this is pretty crazy. Um, that was the full, metal jacket, range ammunition by hop ammunition, locally made here in Cleveland, Ohio. Now the thought is I have the defensive rounds in there. So now we're going to try the defensive round. This is the first time I've ever shot defensive rounds through the suppressor as well. So we're going to shoot the first round into the rubber. Then we're going to do four more 
into the uh, bulletproof drywall and we'll end with that. So here we go. Ready? Wow. So you saw the rubber bounce. Now let's try the defensive round. Let's actually give one round into the drywall. Whoa. Let's go quickly check this out and then we'll shoot four more. You guys got to come see this. I purposely aimed a little lower and I'm thinking that actually seems like it kind of ripped up a little bit more than actually a full metal jacket does. So that's something to really think about. So the defensive ammo that opens up actually tears through those fibers, but still the board is sound. There's no way a bullet's getting through that. That is pretty cool. Let's finish up with the other four and we'll call this video a wrap. So thanks again for Hop Ammunition, letting us try your ammunition in this gun with this suppressor. Stand by. Wow, maybe I didn't put five in there, but that was a couple more rounds of the defensive ammo. Let's just go look at it to be done here. Check this out and see that my gun is clear. So we're clear, gun's clear. And check this out. There's the defensive ammo. There's the full range ammo or the regular full metal jacket ammo. That's just there really for, you know, uh, range practice. This is defensive carry. You could clearly see it ripped a little bit more of that. So that is really cool to see, hear, do, experience. That is a first time ever. Really excited to try this out. And I, you know what? I think we're going to do this again. We're going to try more ammunition, different ideas. Um, yeah, this is, this is cool. This is really good to see and see actually how it works. What we may even do is sell this stuff inside the gun store so we can bring it to your house and protect your front door. Um, so to recap the five star, the insulation has brought the decibels down. The painting and the cleaning has happened. It's done. The lead has been extracted. The range has been cleaned. We've shot bulletproof drywall. We've proven that it's bulletproof. That's what we did today. We, we proved that it was bulletproof. So Awesome. Leave us a comment, subscribe, tell us more of what you want to see. This was fun. We're going to do it again. Stay tuned for more sweet videos. This is cool.